I started writing music for uh, for this thing for five six months ago maybe. So uh, eight bars of the B flat minor. Oh, so you don't want this for solos? No. Okay. And I tried to uh, write music that would, of course, fit us as a group, but also I wanted to, uh, you, you know, to uh, since I've been writing the music, I want uh, wanted to be my music. But that would fit fit us uh, as a group, and I think I, I was nervous that it wouldn't do that, but I think it it really did. And I felt that we, when we rehearsed, like everybody understood the music and felt the music and made made it sound really good. We're playing music because we we're seeking this perfection that is impossible, but the coming close to perfection is commitment and honesty. That could be your own composition. That could be perfection of perfection. Yeah. I really feel like yeah, this is yeah. beautiful work yeah. Yeah. and it just, it, it lifts my spirit and anything else beyond that is celebral that I don't need in this moment. Sort of depending on you guys to chop, boom, bang, yeah, and the piano solo starts. Chop. I always think of jazz as a space for divination. In my tradition, we say we're throwing the bones, which is like objects. The shamans they throw. And then they kind of say, oh, this might happen tomorrow. So I think of improvisation in jazz as the same thing, where we're throwing sounds, they, they, they give us a sense of what might come. So for me, music is a glimpse. It's the expression. When we're recording, we're allowing some of these things to live for generations, to touch them, to feel, to taste. Um, so I think we've just cooked another meal for the next generation of human beings. <laughs> So I'm excited for this, it's, it's a beautiful record.